Hello, my name is Will Baxter. I am a systems application engineer with Schneider Electric. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to integrate the TSIS Island with Allen Bradley PLC using the Studio 5000 software and a free TSIS Island configuration software tool from Schneider called SoMove. So the first thing that we want to do within Studio 5000 is go ahead and create our project. I'll select File and New. This page is now prompting us to pick our specific PLC that we will be using on our project. In this case, I will be using the L71 for our project and also we'll need to give our project a name. Select the next button. In this page, the program is asking us what particular type of chassis we will be using with our configuration. We will be using the seven slot control logics chassis. And within that chassis, our PLC will sit into the zero position. Go ahead and hit the finish button. And at this point, our PLC is being added to our project as well as the project itself is being created. And as you can see, we were successfully added our PLC to our project. The next step is to go ahead and add our communications module to our backplane. I'm gonna right click on the backplane, select new module. I've already gone ahead and added our module to the favorites tab. That's why it's been prompted here. We will be using the EN2TR. I'll go ahead and select create. On this page, we're being requested to go ahead and name the module itself. I'm going to give it a name as well as an IP address. And on the actual communications module itself on the side located is the rev number of that particular type. The rev that we're going to be using for our module is 10.007. So I'll need to make the change here. Say okay and yes. Say okay and close. Now you can see that we've successfully added our communications module to our project. The next step is to go into our TSIS Island configuration software called SoMove. In SoMove, you can see that I have uh, already pre-configured our TSIS Island configuration. In the first slot, we have a bus coupler that is set up to communicate Modbus TCP IP. And in the second module, we have a digital input module which allows four digital inputs and two digital outputs. And then the last two are two nine amp motor starters that are interconnected to allow a two motor direction uh, motor starter avatar. Now that we've pre-configured our TSIS Island, we will need to export this out to the Allen Bradley Studio 5000 software. To do that, we'll need to go to Device, Export, EDS to L5X file format. We'll select that. In this file name that is being created, it is going to be a zip file that is going to be created, a compressed file that has three individual files located in that compressed file. I've already gone ahead and saved it and decompressed that file. So I'll go ahead and hit cancel. Go back into our Studio 5000 software. And at this point, we'll need to add those three uncompressed files to our project. So the first file that we're going to import will go to Ethernet, select Import Module, and here are the three files that we need to import. There is a specific file format or order that needs to take place. So the first one that we're going to do is the module, select open. Everything looks good, we'll say okay. 
The next one we'll do, we'll need to go to the main program, right click, select add, and then import routine. The next one file that we need to do in order will be our acyclic file, select open, say OK. And you can see that our files have been added. The next thing that we need to do is go to assets, do a drop down, add on instructions, right click and import add-on instruction. The third final file that we need to add is the AOI, AOI file or add-on instruction file. I'll select it, select open, and OK. At this point, all the files that, that we had created in SoMove and exported how now have been re-imported into our project. So the next step is to go online with our project and do a download. I'm going to go up to Communications, select Who Active, and find our communications path. And this one should be the one. We'll go online. It's going to go ahead and ask us to download. We'll do a download at this point. And we'll go ahead and make that download after the warning page. All right, so we've had a successful download. And the next step is to go ahead and open up our project file. Go to the main routine. I'm going to attempt to force one of the two direction uh, motor starters on. So I'll go on our add-on instructions and find the two direction motor avatar. This is the one. Go ahead and add it. And at this point, we'll need to go ahead and give it a name. Right click, new tag, motor control. Run. Create it. And then we'll need to link it. Okay, and we'll need to finalize our edits. Zero errors. And then the next thing we'll need to do is go into the run position. And then we will need to Go to our run forward command and change that to a zero or one. And we have successfully just closed our first motor starter in the forward command. I go ahead and turn that back off. And now we just open back up our motor starter. So that now concludes 
a successful integration of the Tesis Island into the Studio 5000 software. And I appreciate you looking and thank you very much. Thank you.